Hi guys and welcome to this uh, you can say review uh, of the first major No Man's Sky update you can say upgrade even ah, so yeah I decided to make a review of this game because I reached the first atlas and as I know there's not more you know much more to the game anyways and I personally don't see the point of continuing when I know, you know, what's the ending of the game, it's just, you know, nothing, so I have no idea what the hell to do, I'm super addicted uh, to it, uh, but the interesting thing is that, uh, yeah, I have no idea why I'm, I'm addicted to it, I mean, I love building stuff, and I love to find the ship, and like, uh, yesterday I think I played for six hours six hours guys six hours that's insane uh, and just because I'm on vacation and so on but I want to find another ship and another ship uh, and I finally managed to reach the first atlas to skip even two galaxies so I can reach here you know this point here and finally Nvidia has new driver that allow me actually to record this uh, Finally, with Shadow Play, actually, the game is still not supported. I know that. I mean, you have to know that it's still not supported, but I can record it with uh, the function of uh, recording your desktop. So that at least is good. Try to fix the mic so you can hear me. I mean, it's not the mic's fault, but anyways. So guys, have no idea what's uh, you know what's coming from here. Probably nothing. Uh, I have to ask my boyfriend because he's a bit farther than me how to get the atlas pass I did get the atlas stone but anyway so I wanted to talk about several things that you must do when you play you know No Man's Sky and overall thoughts of the game like I said there's a review of the game uh, because the game you can never have you know full review of this game until it's actually finished because now it, it's just not well, let's just go to this very first, uh, not very first, but I mean, let's, let's just go to this planet because I just picked it up and just like how it looks. Hopefully there's some good stuff in it. So first of all, in this game, you need, you need a really, really good ship, guys. And the ship that you're starting with is very bad. So if you want to progress farther and farther, although there's just no point to this game whatsoever, uh, you have to get a better ship and ships are extremely extremely expensive So the best way to get ship is, is to find it, but that's not even simple in this game. No, you have to go through uh, Outpost bases to uh, you know to discover riddles in the control you can say control like um, uh, Not the control point of the ship, but yeah, let's let's go ahead control something of the ship uh, and so, oh, just because I'm seeing this now, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to land here because I saw Enemy Drill review and he was like, this rock there disappears, you know, when you find gold. Uh, but let's just go ahead and name this Discovery so I can get money. So the most important thing, guys, is actually renaming doesn't get you any money as far as I discovered but the uploading it does so we're just going to name here Xena 5 Atlas at, at last what <laughs> Atlas universe I don't care how I you know how I write it I really don't okay so this is huge chunk of gold probably is going to you know worth a lot oh damn so I got this for free actually from one of the aliens in one of the outposts so if you see an alien and he says like I want to give you you know multi tool you say yes you say hell what the hell yes <laughs> basically just a second uh, yeah depleted I forget so I decided to just do this review this way to play you know as I'm talking about it uh, because yeah this is uh, um, you know much much better than just try to talk over 
already recorded gameplay just because I will totally forget about what you're supposed to be doing in this, in this planet and what are the very very important things that you must know so first as I said ship but in order to get the ship you have to find it uh, you have to search for the single uh, you know signals and instead of you know searching for monolith which can also give you a uh, very good thing sometimes I mean very good things can come out from finding actually a monolith it's a lot better and a lot better things could come from you know just um, searching for signals you know distress signals because that could mean a crash ship crash and that could mean that you can get a ship and you have to watch out for very specific things actually when you get getting a ship uh, let me show you so oh wait a second okay here's the ship so the ship guys okay you when you find another ship it has to have a hyperdrive if you can find that the further you go in the universe the better ships you'll get i think uh so you have to have pulse engine uh of course uh these things here uh and this here is like okay shape but not super okay uh it has to ha it has to have uh you know warp reactor uh so this is the most important things and when you fix you know basically i think the shield or what ah when you fix the main stuff basically the thruster you you'll be able to fly because i didn't know that i didn't know that i was able to fly so i just go ahead and walk around the entire planet uh, <laughs> of course not entire but a lot of the planet just you know searching for things and it turns out that i i, I could have flown you know the, the whole time flown is that the word okay Anyway, so you have to make money real fast, guys. And in order to that, you have to scan everything. You have to... Uh, you see how much money I have? And that's not even, you know, enough enough. I mean, it's good, but it's better if you have millions. And you have to upgrade this to buy more slots. The first slot will be free. The second one, no. And you have to still find it on the planet. And, ha and you have to fly uh, to those... You know, to those... Um, Question marks, damn it. Okay, so uh, this is a, actually a bad planet because it's very rocky. I don't think we can find something here. But I'm going to show you also a trick if I discover a base. Basically, if you have a base that you can sell things on it and buy things on it, you can also mine for resources. Just to scan here. You can also mine for resources and sell it on the spot and then go mine again so you can uh, have it have those resources still for yourself because you do need them you can just you know sell them and be you know that's that you can just do that so let's just try this here and see what it is and damn it i don't see what it is i see it's something like a block on the radar and by the way, <laughs> I can skip like two galaxies because when I found the atlas, they gave me two. Uh, this, just let me check what the heck. Uh, rob, rob cells. Um, damn it, I forgot how they were called. Basically, yeah, yeah, rob cells. So now the hyperdrive is charged. I can flew like really, really fast. So there's no real reason to be here but just want you know to show you some some tips okay so that is what you need also that's one of the things that you do need now with this you can find crash sites and ships of course you could not I mean you could just find a base but from the base you can settle if you can you know solve the riddle and you can guess right yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about actually. Shelter, when it says life from detected, that is your very good and best bet to find actually a ship. So, uh, this uh, is something like a tutorial review actually. Okay. So, and when you charge your stuff, you know, when you can use 
carbon use it because carbon is sometimes easier to find on planets and just not so viable as uh, you know plutonium and sometimes plut plutonium is a deficit so yeah iron you can sell for a lot of money so just you can mine it but when you do that try to be you know very close to somewhere that you can sell it and then you have to like i said mine it again so you can have it for yourself because it's essential when you're having space battles you can uh you know repair your shield immediately if you have that okay so now let's just return to my ship oh what was that i heard something anyways uh, and also, of course, if you see some, you know, some of, you know, very viable stuff, you mine it immediately, especially plutonium, you have to always have plutonium, and that must have, yeah, it's carbon. And carbon, like I said, don't overdo it because you have no free slots left. And when you have this very good multi-tool that one alien gave me, you can upgrade it to oblivion but you try to you know always have a scanner range boost you know the scanner analysis uh visual visual, visual. Ah, damn it i can't say it uh and yeah try to be try to recharge it and sometimes you can clear you know inventory spots when you recharge things as well so have that in mind and of course you have to mine and mine and mine and mine and mine and mine and mine again <laughs> so you have to have a lot of patience in this and the only thing that keeps me forward is actually discovery and although i'm discovering the same stuff i just can't wait to see what else you know is going to occur i mean what uh, what ship i'm going to see like my only, you can say, drive to play this is like the ship and what can I, you know, get if I search really, really hard. And of course you have to fix it again and again and again and again. And just, I don't recommend buying ships even if you gather a lot of money because they're a lot of money and you can still find it for free. And by the way, every time that you try to take off, the engine will take a lot more of your fuel than you wish. So that's why I try to go everything on, you know, everywhere on foot as much as possible. When I find a base uh, that has, you know, that's bigger base that has a particular device that you can see here, I hope, in this base that we are going in now, uh, you'll be able to call the ship. And here is another base, just like out of nowhere, but let's just go to that first. Although they're probably pretty much identical and they're probably going to find the same things. But let's just try here. And some of the things actually, even when you scan, you can see uh, bases that are not on the scanner. Which is a big bummer. And yesterday actually I tried to catalog all the animals on the planet, on the particular planet I was in. But I couldn't. I found even more species you know uh that then the game wanted me to find but the game didn't count that i mean it said it was new species but didn't you know at all like uh, check in the, the slots like just check, let me show you what i mean so i currently haven't found any animals other not other than that actually uh, nothing and here and here you will find like uh, a list of with question marks and everything like I was uh, having just three more to find and I did find like four but the game just didn't care at all that I did that okay just let take the plutonium first okay so let's see if this has like that thing so you can call your ship actually you can use this to call your ship as well and you need a bass chip uh, sorry a bypass chip and you can just craft it in one of the free slots here if you have the materials here it is but i don't need that now and that's a bummer as well you always have to have a free slot in order to craft anything in this game which is a complete like 
Oh, I don't know. Just terrible, terrible guys. So let's open. What? What? Nothing. I got nothing or what? Oh, okay. So when you get like something like this, you can sell it. Okay, so I think this base has pretty much everything that I need to show you guys. So as I said, you have either this or like one like uh, I don't know how to call it, but it's something that's coming from the you know from the ground and it's uh, glowing. So with that, you can call your ship even if you're very very far away from it, so you won't have to walk over there again. So let's see what this guy says. Oh, damn it! So when you're like this, check the starship. Okay, so the starship has a bit more space, so yeah, let's just transfer. Okay, and now we can talk to him. Oh, this is so frustrating and so slow. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, I've interrupted an electronic life form in the middle of its work. Ah, oh, boy. Curing mask, mice, blah 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 blah. I just don't care what the hell it says, guys. Just don't. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, I I, I can't believe it. Ah, he was able to swim. Yeah, who cares? I mean, that's not that important, guys. Believe me, you can swim enough in this game. And I didn't encounter any place that is too deep, so I want you know survive so for now I think this is so unnecessary okay so we have a new tool here let's check it wow this is very good <laughs> very good indeed so I have 17 slots this has 19 slots I don't really need it now so I'm just going to ignore it and here here's what I'm talking about you can sell everything here not not you know you don't need to go to any any station uh, so basically this is expensive and I heard it's very, it's very useful for some things but I didn't encounter anything to use it for but for now because it's very rare I'm going to keep it also I'm going to keep these two because sometimes I do need them I'm not sure what this I can use for mm -hmm. often such as with Asian mm -hmm. just, I just don't know what to use this for so, I'm going to keep it. And here's the gold. You can just go here and sell the gold anytime you like. I'm also going to keep this. And this as well, just in case. And if you don't see everything that you have, you just you now open your inventory, go to your ship because you could just, you know, uh, transfer some of the, the goods to the ship and you wonder why it doesn't show because they have to be in your costume in order to sell them so a good way to make money is just go now outside my everything you see go here and sell it and this you can do like hundreds of times and you can get a lot a lot of money and, and of course don't forget to film every animal and don't need to rename it just uh, just upload it uh, and that's and that's it basically uh, now I did want to try some things, but we don't see any pult, not the pult, okay, any, like, like this thing here, not exactly, but like that round thing that can, you know, help us with finding the ship, which again is one of the most important stuff, so, just, you know, take off, um, can. Oh wait a second guys, if you hear music that's from Paragon, a game, you know, that uh, is on PlayStation right now, maybe on PC, I have no idea, but I got like early access. Okay, so now we go to the question marks when we can actually uh, get like a uh, suit upgrade. Ah, uh, but unfortunately this is not such site, and this is not one of those sites that you can find uh, any ships. So, let me just uh, stop the music guys, a second. Okay, drink a bit of coffee and I'm back. 
Okay, so now we are looking as I said a base. Uh, just oh, oh no! Don't 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 do that. I mean the it's just terrible. Uh, the game is just so bad in terms of flight. Also, the flight guys, you have to always shoot with the laser. Oh, and, and see where the heck I just parked. So I just wanted to show you how to find sites because I totally forgot to visit here actually. This base had everything almost, but I didn't do the thing. So here you need my best chip, like you can see. Okay, so instead of going to the monolith, as I said, you just click transmission. Or hopes and hopes that you can find a ship or a place that you can yeah search a ship so that's something that's that's something you can also do this again so you can have more points that you can search so just do it again you don't need to go to another one just can do here transmission let's see now what it will find and beacon and beacons guys are also one of the things that can help you find a ship like I said okay so we have two things that's enough for now and because I'm out of plutonium it's going to get some okay and when you upgrade actually your multi new multi tool you'll be able to mine more things and for goodness sakes, running in this game is so incredibly slow. I'm just out of words. But you do have to go in this, you know, in these things because they at least give you a bit of money. And click here. Shield at maximum. That's it's not so necessary. In some planets it's more necessary, but yeah, it's good to have, you know, your shield. Yeah, just go here and we're you know you're almost ready to go and search for that ship oh that that's good I think mm -hmm. that's interesting okay I'm going to look at that later and now and also watch out for those sentinels guys they're a pain in the butt. You have to kill them as fast as possible. And of course, when you have this kind of a multi tool, you're just good to go. They're not really a problem. So, if we run into some pirates, uh, I, yeah, I'll be able to show you that as well, hopefully. But now, let's just try and go to that. First the shelter, then the beacon, and we can wrap this video up. And of course, like you see in this plant, since you have so much gold, you can mine like forever. It makes so much money. Uh, actually, the gold is, I think, different prizes for different universes, but since you have so much of it, yeah, don't miss this out if you run into a planet like this one. So let's see what's this about. Gladly, uh, I was close. <sighs> Let's see now. Mm hmm. Advanced life form detector. Okay, so that's basically the same thing that you know we run into right now. Uh, I mean, not right now. Just you no know, seconds ago. let's just go yeah okay I will need my ship uh, I'll have to charge it because this will take a lot of fuel every takeoff as I said but for the sake of not wasting time let's just go shelter okay this doesn't look very promising but 
then you guys um, having a good ship is one of the most important things in this game so it's um, and money so if you want to do something you have to do this and of course when you reach a certain point upload it like that so you can get get money and you have to still go here and save so this place could be also you know recorded and not only to make safe of the game it's important to do this stuff again for the money and when you visit a certain place the icon uh, of it will be faded oh and here's one of those devices that I was talking about that you can also use a bypass chip and just land your ship right here I mean teleport your ship right here instead of going next to it of course uh, you can use that when you're too far away from the ship to go to it so you can do that so let's see what we have here oh yeah yeah so here it is guys what I was talking about again to find a ship most of those things most of those things I mean are, are to find a ship if you guess right so let's see here the transmission readout suggested long ago the strict signal with uh, unanswered. Sequence of numbers has been repeated itself for so long that its imprint is burnt into the screen. Blah, blah. Okay, so this may be for a ship. I can find the ship. Yeah, this is for a ship. So if I manage to guess, uh, I could actually get a new ship. So it's very, very important, guys. But sometimes, yeah, it's just not working. So let's see here. 9992868181xx I'm sure that this is obvious for a lot, lot, you know, a lot of you, but yeah, let's see now. So 9579 I doubt that I will guess this, especially when I'm doing this, you know, recording as it as I'm doing it. Let's see now. 77 seven. Mm. <laughs> If I pick around, this is going to be very bad. Uh, I mean, I have to search again. Okay, 79. 9. I mean, sometimes I think I got it, but... Oh, damn. 77. 9, 95. Okay. Going on a loop here. Discovered! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Discovered a ship! Oh, guys, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. So I just pick, you know, whatever I thought that is not connected to the other numbers. Yeah, so that was my logic. Okay, we got the new technology. We're going to see what, what it's about later. Now let's get out of here and try to find a ship, guys. This is what this game is about, for me at least. Finding a damn good chip so it can you know go you know more places and have more slots inventory slots so I don't have to deal with the game's bullshit that much okay I don't have fuel like I said I have to recharge okay let's go let's go let's go let's go okay, as you can see that takes like a ton of fuel to just to take off. Okay, the ship is very close. Wow. Well, I'm hoping it's a good ship at least. Okay, trying to slow down. Okay, okay, we see it. I totally see it. See it. And landing. Whoa, what the heck is this can? Okay, let's check it now, guys. See how good it is. Nighting slots. I have 18 slots. So basically, this is not very good, but it's still, you know, well. Hmm. Huh. What to say? have to watch out mm, 
It has hyperdrives, which is very very important. Uh, you, you know what guys? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm not going to take it. Uh, it's just one slot and weapons are a bit better, but it's not going to make such a difference. And I already, you know, have two cells here. So, I'm going to leave it. But the point, you know, was to show you how to find the ship and you can, if, if you can, you know, guess what the answers are. You can find the ship, so don't need to buy it. And since I have, you know, two... Uh, oh, I got an upgrade. And got the message. Uh, since I have, you know, uh, charge, rub cells, and I can, like, skip two universes. There's no need to screw with that, I just have to go further into the game and then find the ship and probably it's going to be better. So yeah guys, like I said, make money, find a station like that one where you can sell right there on the planet. You can mine, go and sell, mine, go and sell, film all the animals and if the game is not that buggy, you can actually find all the animals and hopefully nothing like what happened to me is going to happen to you you know and that of course is the fact that although I found even more animals that didn't matter at the end of the day and if you search for copper and uh, what what was that actually because I did have to find yeah Copper uh, and nickel, no, not, not, oh, iridium, yeah, you can also find that in space if you need that. And by the way, like I said, when you fight, don't use this. Use this. The laser is much, much better. So, let's just go around a bit and see if somebody will attack me. Or let's just go in another universe. Who am I kidding? Okay, let's try another universe. Anomaly detected. Yeah, you have to search for anomaly usually. Mm -hmm. So I am here. This here, I have no idea. But let's, uh, since I have more into. Rob cells. Let's see if I can skip a universe. Uh, I can. So let's skip again. I definitely can. So let's skip. Okay. Let's try again. See to where I can go. Wow, I can go to here. That's, that's good. Okay. Let's push our luck a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's too far. Okay. So let's just jump to here. Engage! And after the update, guys, some of the things are better, really. The game runs better. The FPS is good. Uh, I think. I mean, I didn't have any stuttering like before, so I'm happy about that. And also some functions with the animals, they can mine for you, although it, you really have to be close. Oh, stuttering. Wow, this is amazing, guys. That's pretty cool, I found... I mean, it's amazing because I, I do, f you know, find so many things in this, you know, Gameplay slash review, so I'm happy about it. So let's just try to go to the anomaly. Maybe then I'm going to get my Atlas Pass. So if you get your Atlas Pass, guys, you can open doors in space stations that are usually locked, and in them you have suit upgrades. So that's yeah, that's very important. I still am yet to find my Atlas Pass. Yeah, definitely never been here. But let's see what is inside. Oh wow. What the heck is this? 
Please be at last pass level one, please. Okay, we are going for it. Oh, an alien. Hello. Uh, two aliens. Hello, guys. Excuse me. Oh, damn. I'm going to transfer this. Okay. Okay. Talk to me. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see now. I think I have to read more carefully here. And the scanning beams emerge at. Help me. There is a. Nerving. Blah 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 sound and then Wow it speaks in my language. Choice you can show me how to harness black holes in order to embark upon a journey to the center of the galaxy. Wow, black holes, finally. It can light my way to an Atlas interface where I might follow a path or to assist me in my own exploration. Resources to aid exploration, find a shortcut to the center resume the path of the atlas oh damn i don't know what to pick mm, i think i'm going to choose this atlas interface oh, okay what the Ooh, what's this 16 slots F17, nope. No, oh, thank you. Excuse me. Tell me about it. Okay. My phone here. Blah, 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 blah. Blueprint. Oh yeah! Yes! Yes guys, so this is what we need! This is what you need. What we all need. So you can now craft those things. And now we can open lock doors. Yes! Let's see here. Oh, both okay. Can this guy help me further? No? No? Okay. I think we're done here. Hey guys, so now, if we go to the space station, we can finally open that door. I mean, I can finally open that door. Okay. Let's see now, let's see now. Okay, a space station. Let's try here. Of course, always use your pulse engine. Oh! Too close. Okay. And to fly faster without using your pulse engine, you just press shift. No, that's not here. The hole is not here. Okay. Let's find a hole. Oh, okay. At least, you know. The entering in the space station is like a pulling beam, so it's automatic. And of course you have to try to sell stuff to those guys. Because some of the things are going to be more expensive to some aliens. So you have to check if the price for each element is the same with each alien. Because you can definitely get more money sometimes for something from all, from one alien compared to the first one. Okay, let's see if we can open this. Yes! For the first time ever I'm opening this door. And here's the suit upgrade, guys. Oh, and this is not free! Damn you, game! Anyways, I'm getting it. You can always get that on any planet if you find a capsule when the question marks are, but okay. Okay. 
Okay, wait a second. Uh, at last, pass V3. And I have V1 or something. Yeah, so when you're going to find that, I don't know. I suppose you have to jump to another universe, then to another universe. Yeah, so then you'll be able to open those doors. But I doubt that there's something more there. Is this working again? No. Okay. And of course, now just go and try to sell those things. After all, they sell. So this game is more like a trading and upgrading game than a survival game. So I think this game should have like another and another review. So, you know, when it's uh, more ready, because now it's definitely not. Still don't know what, what that's for. I'm going to find out before I'm going to sell it and potentially screw myself, so I have to watch out for that. And as I said, if you don't see something, just transfer it from your ship. But yeah, this is not exactly the case. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to sell those things. Yeah, so guys, basically that's it. Uh, just check, just let me check my engine. Okay, so I can think I can jump again i'm not sure yeah i think i can yeah it when it says you know open your galaxy map you definitely can jump so guys thank you very much for watching this has been my gameplay review of no man's sky for now the game is nothing like was advertised as you know you can still have like a ton of fun with it I, but i don't know where this is going does it have an end? I personally want to be able to build my base somewhere. If I found a plan that I really, really like, to be able to build some kind of a fortress there, to you know, to conquer things, to have my own planet. When, when you know, if I like a planet, to be able to settle there and be able to always, you know, uh, go back to it, you know, warp even to it. And I can exp still explore the universe, go in my planet and build things and conquer more stuff and talk to different races like in Star Trek fashion and yeah, this is the dream. This is the dream because for now we're just doing like the same, the same things and we're trying to, I mean, I'm trying to get the better and bigger ship um, with more slots so I can progress to nothingness basically because in the center of the universe, spoiler alert, there's just nothing. Like, just, you know, just watch Angry Joe's review. Uh, for me, it's a very addictive game, although the graphics are terrible. The animals are pretty much terrible. They did improve a bit on the textures with this new update. They did improve, for me, with NVIDIA and new drivers. It runs well, but it doesn't run very well on some IMD PCs and video cards and so on. Uh, so, guys, do not buy this game uh, at $60. You have to be crazy. To, it, to buy it, I only, you know, have it because one of my guy friends was like, Oh, somebody gifted me this game. They thought it was a good idea, but I don't like such games. So here you are, Gary, you know, you can try it. You can at least have uh, some kind of video about it. And I'm like, of course, of course. Uh, this is an indie game, like you already heard. And it, it is because it's, it's totally an indie game. And it's not just not worth the sixty dollars. This is a robbery, especially when you know how many lies they they're telling. I mean, they're sorry. That's I don't know what the heck I said. How many lies they're said to make people buy it, and now they're like swimming in money. And we are like, what the heck is this? You know, it's not what they promised. Uh, and yeah, you can't even you know like fly around in space. I don't know. I mean, you can, but you basically have to always stick in one place. The game is not made for, you know, just travel through the stars, just look around. And, oh, yeah, planet. Oh, yeah, no. Everything is in your face. The planet is here, and you basically you are sitting in one place the whole time. And what they showed with the animals and everything was like 10 times more beautiful and awesome than what we actually got. So, guys, if, you, if this game becomes $20 yeah i agree you can buy it but i'm sure it, this will become a lot better game with time so just wait and wait and wait and i'm probably going to wait as well uh because i, I don't know where, where i'm going with this really with this game just waste of time basically uh it's fun to mine to sell to get more money to achieve that but for what i mean for what what end 
to nothing so yeah okay guys thank you very much for watching i give uh, this game for now as it states you know right now uh, like a solid 6.5 out of 10 thank you guys very much for watching until next time with gary g reviews and gary g gaming